With graphics like that, this guy must work out. Afternoon, everyone. Coming to you from the shop. I'm going to go over the nail guns that I carry with me um, to do everything from minor trim work to framing a house, everything in between. Um, so all these nail guns are different in their own specific way. They've all got their own applications, and they're made by several different companies. So these are the ones I've found that work the best for me. Uh, but there's a ton of different manufacturers out there. So I'll just kind of start from this end. These being probably in line for the most that I, you know, the most use that I get out of them. This is a 16 gauge <clears throat> Ryobi cordless nailer. And I normally don't like Ryobi too much, but you can't beat this nail gun. Um, it's a whole lot cheaper than the competitors and i use it all the time it's excellent for putting in doors um nailing up trim a lot of the small finishing work that i do on a daily basis this gun works excellent um it's got the interchangeable battery so you can use it with drills and other stuff like that it's got an adjustment for your um, amount of pressure that you're using um and it works like a champ. It's been dropped and all kinds of stuff. But I carry this one with me on the truck at all times. So, excellent gun. Next one that I use quite often is a pass load framing nailer. Um, I've actually got two of these. I've got another one that I bought from a pawn shop when I first started. I've had this one for about six years. And... Uh, you can tell that it's been heavily used in those six years. Um, works like a champ. I don't ever have problems with it jamming. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they make an excellent nail gun. I know there's a lot of guys that use different manufacturers other than pass load, but for me, I've never had any issues with this pass load. Um, excellent gun. Uh, next one here is a 16 gauge Dewalt stapler or nail gun um, basically just a, a pneumatic version of this uh, Rayobi gun use this quite a bit so if I'm doing something bigger than a small trim job um, you know if I'm trimming out an entire house or I uh, have to put you know doors every you know put doors in an entire house I'll get this gun and get my air compressor out versus uh, this Rayobi so Excellent gun. Haven't had any issues with it either. I um, guess that might help if I went through some of these model numbers. Uh, this one is... I don't actually see a model number on it. There's the details. But it's an excellent nail gun. Um, had it for several years. There we go. Let it adjust. DWFP71917. Um, excellent nail gun. Uh, let me go back to this pass load. It is an I350S. Hopefully you can see that. And then this Ryobi 16 gauge nailer is... I think it's a P325 maybe. Uh, there's those nail guns. Uh, next one here, I use this for a lot of, uh, if I'm doing some cabinet work or uh, putting some special build together, I'll use this. This is a stapler. It's made by Hitachi and Hitachi makes some excellent guns. This has actually been thrown out of my truck. Um, I got rear-ended uh, about six years ago, and all my tools went all over the interstate. This got thrown out, and it still works like a champ. Um, so even after getting my truck totaled out, uh, this gun still works like a top. Uh, let's see. 
and most guys that uh, own Hitachi will tell you they just make an excellent tool. So there's the model number on it. It's an inch and a half stapler. Really good for fine work, um, especially if you're doing some cabinet work or um, trim work. It would work for that. I use it for a lot of special project builds. So if I'm doing something real intricate, I can use that. And the staples seem to break the wood out a lot less than... Uh, some of the other options are using a regular nail gun. Um, this here is a 15 gauge angle nailer. Pretty good gun. I uh, don't use this a whole lot just because I buy a lot of 16 gauge nails since I carry that every day. So really that's the only reason this gun doesn't get used a whole lot. It's a good trim gun. Uh, a lot of guys will install their trim with a 15 gauge and uh, like I said, Hitachi is a excellent nail gun. So it's a two and a half, up to a two and a half inch finished nailer. A really good gun. Uh, like I said, the only reason I don't use it a whole lot is because I buy so much 16 gauge nails. Uh, palm nailer, I actually don't use this a whole lot. Um, does come in handy in really tight spots. So if you're trying to nail, um, framing brackets in or something where you've got just a little bit of room this gun works excellent uh, I said I don't have a whole lot of applications for it for what I do specifically but this Bosch uh, palm nailer is very handy uh, let's see if we can get it's a PN 100 but I know a lot of guys love those gun love those little palm nailers Roofing gun, I don't do a whole lot of roofing, uh, mostly just for myself. Um, and I know there's a lot of uh, guys that use other brand of roofing nailers, but I haven't had any problems with this jamming on me for the jobs that I do. Um, granted, I don't roof every day. So, um, you know, if you're looking at becoming a professional roofer, this may not be your gun of choice, but for doing small roofing patch jobs or maybe roofing a, a, a small addition or a small porch that you're building and covering. I haven't had any issues out of this. Uh, it takes coil nails, which almost all roofing nail guns do to my knowledge. Um, but really good gun. Uh, and one thing I have found with this and most with just about all these guns, they do tell you to oil daily or at least periodically um, but I have found with this Dewalt nailer and this pass load if you put too much oil in them um, you'll have to let it set for a while I've had to take this cover off of this pass load before because I put too much oil in it and let that housing dry out because um, if it gets too much oil it just it don't work right same thing with this Dewalt um, that's the only time I've had problems with either one of them is just them not shooting because I messed up and put too much oil in it. So, and the last gun, uh, this is really good. It's a stapler, a framing stapler. Um, use it for putting decking on. Uh, you're framing an addition or a house, or you're putting decking on the roof. This gun works excellent. Um, the only problem I found is getting staples for it. I had to order this gun through Amazon. And uh, actually, I had to order the staples. I think there's only one place around here that carries the staples for this gun. And I don't know that I've seen it for sale at any local hardware store. But it's a 16-gauge utility stapler. And there's the model number on it. So, really good. It makes quick work. Uh, the thing you got to realize, it's not like these other guns where you have to push down hit the safety so the safety device goes off then squeeze the trigger with this gun you just hold the trigger down and as fast as you can hit it it's throwing staples in so it's really good for um, doing quick work um, just remember that when you go to use it it doesn't operate like a regular nail gun um, you just hold the trigger down and as fast as you can hit it it's going to drive staples in so really good really efficient gun um, so hope this helped those are the nail guns that I use all the time uh, and like I said I do everything from framing all the way to building intricate cabinets and uh, you know 
the doll houses, bird houses, you name it, and everything in between. So these are the nail guns that I've used over the years and uh, the ones that have been my, my gun of choice. So hope this video helps. Thanks. This guy needs to be a poster child for birth control. If you like that video, hit subscribe.